Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, fans across the world, members and soon to be members and audiences in, I think, just about every country in the world. Welcome to Colour in Your Life Conversations with Graham and Natasha Wernick. Good morning, Graham. Good morning, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about your upcoming exhibition in Brisbane which is, um, in fact, I'll let you go ahead and tell them about the date and the venue. Brisbane, by the way, is in Queensland, Australia. So it's about two hours drive north from where we are today. Yeah, yeah um, I'm having an exhibition at the Red Hill Gallery, which is at um, Musgrave Road in Red Hill in Brisbane on the 1st of December, starts at 6.30. So if any of you guys out there would like to come to the show you're most welcome to you're going to have to RSVP because there's a lot of people that are already wanting to come and we've sort of got limited numbers the gallery can only hold so many people um, but yeah first of December Margaret Campbell Ryder who is the director and the owner of the gallery fantastic lady um, the Red Hill Gallery is one of the blue chip galleries in Brisbane one of the better recognized investment galleries so it's it's hard to get a show in there at the best of times because they have some of the major artists across Australia that exhibit in there. So, um, but uh, Margaret has been watching the show. Her brother, who was a biker fan as well, has <laughs> been watching the show. She couldn't believe it. She says, you watch Colour on Your Life, it's fantastic. <laughs> but so, but um, yeah, so if anybody would like to come along, they can contact the Red Hill Gallery and um, just put your name down on the RSVP and uh, we can go from there. So, um, just out of interest, how did you get a gig at the Red Hill Gallery? Um, I think it's a combination of a lot of things, but obviously doing the show and then I think receiving the OAM this year for my services to the visual arts. Um, yeah, plus, plus I like Margaret. Uh, I've known her for quite a few years now and she has actually exhibited my work, but not as a full exhibition. Um, and I, I showed her the new work that I've been doing, uh, which was being influenced by the figurative, the feminine and nature. And she said, look, I really like what, you, what you're doing. She said, I really like this work uh, and I'd like to have it in the gallery so that my clients can, can look at what you're doing at as well. So it's a complete sort of turn. I mean, I, my style has evolved a lot over the years, the 35 years I've been doing it. And it never stays the same. You know, I've seen some artists that paint literally the same pictures their whole career. But my work is just not, I mean, my travels across the world, living in other countries, doing colour in your life, being influenced by so many different people has influenced the approach that I take to my work as well. And then, you know, when I did Rob Pryor in, um, in Los Angeles and looked at Rob's really loose style and he had, how he attacked the, the watercolour paper and then using the Talons inks and also the Princeton brushes, it's like, wow, this is, this is great. So... I sort of developed a style of my own in conjunction with that. And as I said, it may change again as well. I mean, I'll simply just keep morphing with my style. I mean, by the time I get to the 70s or 80s, I may be a full-blown abstract artist. And I can see it going that way because I want to deliver messages within the work. I think if you're not making some type of social statement with art, it just becomes a pretty picture to hang on the wall. And these are very colourful by any means. Um, but there are, there are sort of a, a, a forerunner to other styles that I want to develop as I go along and then be able to tell those social stories, you know, political, environmental, um, governmental stories that, that encompass who we are in the world. And how many pieces of work are you working on? How many do you want to have finished by the time December comes? Good question. I've got six weeks off now until the show which is, I mean, I, you know, I only get sometimes four weeks and then I'm on a plane heading somewhere. But uh, I've got six weeks. I've, I've completed 24, which I was asked to do. But with six weeks to go, I'm going to attempt to do another six pieces. So it'll be definitely burning the midnight oil for, you know, if I'm not working on the business of colour in your life and working with you guys, I'll just be in the studio and putting as much time as I possibly can in so that I potentially have 30 pieces for the 1st of December. Um, and then, um, yeah, we go, we go from there. I, I mean, I, I like the work and, and Margaret does as well. What the public wants at the best of times. I mean, I don't paint for the public. I paint for the joy of doing the art. 
Um, and if they enjoy it as well, well, you know, obviously we'll make sales. If they don't, it doesn't affect me in the least. I, mean, I, I love doing what I love doing. Um, I don't paint for the money. I paint because I just love to sit in the studio and let my mind expand itself and say, here's the colour, here's the brush, go for your life. Yeah. And your subject matter is, is mainly uh, gorgeous women? Yeah, it's, it's sort of influenced by my incredibly gorgeous partner, uh, Joe. And I mean, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that I do does have the feminine, the figurative in it. But this show is mostly designed to utilise colour, utilise the figure, um, form, abstract, uh, geometrical, and combining all of those things that I've, I've really learnt by being out, you know, filming over 200 artists across the world. And I've put it together and I'm, I'm really happy with the show. I actually think it's probably one of the best image shows that I've ever put together and I hope that the, uh, the public feels that way as well. Yeah, great. Great. Well, good luck with getting those extra six paintings done. Um, remember, audience, if you would like to come, uh, make sure you let the Red Hill Gallery in Brisbane know, particularly just for the opening. I'm sure you can come after that. But for the opening, yeah. they only have a limited amount of space and I'm sure there'll be lots and lots of people who want to come. So RSVP yeah. to Red Hill Gallery in Brisbane. We will, of course, be reminding you about the exhibition and letting you know how to RSVP through Facebook, through our blog, through um, our LinkedIn, through all the social media. If you're a member, you definitely will be invited. And if you're not a member, sign up today. We've got some great membership um, opportunities and benefits coming your way. Um, and finally, just a reminder that if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, get on there and subscribe. And we have a great sale on at the moment, DVD, uh, your Christmas presents to your family and friends. And they're on 20% off at the moment. So. Without any further ado, don't forget to put some colour in your life and have a great day, Graham, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.